We make we make sure we take care of our yeah, friends here. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Is that all like Canadian candy? Okay. This, well, you know, you would let, Arrow will be good, right? And Kit Kat, where's Kit Kat? Kit Kat bars in Canada taste different than Kit Kat. Yeah, bars. they're different. All Shania the Twain in Australia will get it. Because I think here it's like cane. No, no, no. Here it's corn sugar, and we do like cane sugar in Australia, and it tastes really. So different. nobody cares. So you have. Probably the most interesting obvious thing I'll say all day, <laughs> and you shut it down like that. Nobody cares about cane sugar and high fructose corn syrup. Have you have you guys ever been to Vancouver? Yes. No. I've Never. I have. You have. No. So how do you like Vancouver? That's where I'm from. Vancouver was dangerous. Why? I remember specifically about Vancouver at about right when the sun went down. Mm -hmm. There was like throngs of like. Okay. Addicts yes. and yes. fiends rushing yes. through the downtown area, and there was garbage cans start bursting the flames could, automatically, like on cue. Could I tell you what that is? <laughs> this is called Easter. It's like somebody let open up like a prison <laughs> or something, like 5:30. It was like prisons open, have lay waste to the downtown. It, it area. is uh, the, the kind of ghetto area of Vancouver, but it's the only it was area. A ghetto. You didn't think it was it ghetto? It was downtown Vancouver. Where the Starbucks are, right? Yeah. There's like on the corner. It was, so, I it was about. wild. Okay. This is called East Hastings. It's where all the addicts live. But besides wow. that area, it's a great oh, city. Oh, then I was in another area where we were. <laughs> There's two areas now. And they broke into our van and stole our navigation. Well, system. you know what? Did I won't it. ask you about Vancouver ever again. I cannot. <laughs> you I hate cannot it. Wait to visit this place. You love it. I'll it take you like, around. He's yeah. just like he should be the tourism. So how did fantastic? This, it's amazing. <laughs> how did this all happen with you guys? When was the first time you met? Can you talk about the first time you both met each other? In Australia, actually. Um, in Australia. In in my studio. In and, his uh, studio. Yeah. And, and, uh, Randomly? <laughs> no, no, no. Well, no, well, no, no, no. We had been in contact. We had been in contact the and, about and, the song. And Lupe. And Lupe. Uh huh. Which is him. Which is me. Yes. Uh, was in this in Australia to to do a big you know festival and all, all that sort of stuff. I was there to do like, like a big festival. He's a real big deal. I was a real big deal there. And he uh, he came into the studio and recorded the song. And came in the studio, recorded the song. <laughs> I, I was like, this is this is my favorite song. He was like, this is his favorite song. You're nuts. Mm. Lupe, you're nuts. <laughs> okay, listen. He's translating my accent. He is I'm trans translating yeah. in an American accent so you people can understand. <laughs> yeah. Australians are like Canadians though. So, we, we, kind of, yeah, we, we kind of. It's Australia is like Canada. Now, I've Lupe, got family in Canada. Where? I really need to visit in Vancouver. Oh, Vancouver. Well, we're in Toronto. We're talking about dead by now though. Can we? <laughs> if that's if, <laughs> wow. And you do a lot of charitable work as well. Yes, I have the Lupe Fiasco Foundation based in Chicago. Tell we us about it. We do a lot of uh, a lot of art, a lot of art, uh, artsy fartsy. Get the kids to do art stuff. Yeah. Um, in various capacities. It's because Chicago, because uh, it's rough, or it's just something you're into arts, it's or because I'm into art. It's what I do, um, and it's just kind of an easy conduit, you know, to and get and that's what saved me, so to speak. You know, that's what pulled me out of the hood was art, music, you know, some capacity. So try and put that back into the city and we do other things like food programs and health health things and etc cetera, etc cetera. it's a nice lupe fiasco foundation dot org dot oh, because it's yeah. official yeah very it's good. a dot org <laughs> so okay grammys we're, we're saying that this is like the oscars of the music industry like uh -huh. for, for us we love watching it who um or it's like the pepsi of the of the, of the i like the that you like world. pepsi oh, soda world yeah <laughs> I, I, I orange crush myself but whatever so um if you had to pick a couple of nominees and stuff like that for like who are some people that you you're excited to see perform here definitely on Sunday. Lupe Fiasco yes. would, would have been cool <laughs> uh -huh. and Guy Sebastian Lupe Fiasco <laughs> and Guy Sebastian what yeah. about or Guy Sebastian and Lupe Fiasco yeah. that would that have been, been hot doing their hit record battle scars <laughs> that would have been but the Taylor Swift and the Rihanna like 15 times listen get, who? Uh, it, Taylor Swift Rihanna are you guys I, excited <laughs> It's always listen. I'm playing with you. Lupe. It's always like it's Who always interesting to see what they're gonna wear, like what Rihanna's gonna wear. Well, have you heard that the the Grammy sent out? Um, uh, for they've asked uh, women to make sure there's no wardrobe malfunctions. There was a press release this morning. Because that's something they do intentionally sometimes, mm -hmm. right? They should just cut them off. <laughs> well, don't go too far. <laughs> just, just let yeah. it go. You can always put them back on. Is Gautier is put Gautier them back on bigger performing? Too. Do you know? No, I don't. I, Gautier's not. Luminaires. Luminaires are here. They're hot. Jean-Paul Gaultier is performing. Sure. He does music. <laughs>